we will solve this uh, SQL problem. So let's go through the problem statement uh, and understand uh, what the question is asking. So you are given a table projects. So the table name is projects containing three columns task ID start date and date it is guaranteed that the difference between the end date and the start date is equal to one day so which means that end date minus start date is equal to one day it, and it is guaranteed for each row okay so this is the column uh, sorry table definition task id integer start date date end date is a date if the end date of the disks are consecutive then they are part of the same project okay if the end date of the tasks are consecutive then they are part of the same project samantha is interested in finding the total number of different projects completed okay uh, write a query to output the start and end dates of projects listed by number of days it took to complete the project in ascending order okay so basically we are given the tasks and these tasks are basically part of some projects task id start date end date so if the if the tasks are falling on consecutive dates dates it means that they are part of the same project for example if we see here 2015 10th one uh, uh, it means uh, 1 October 2015 start date is 1 October 2015 end date is 2 October 2015 then again start date for this task is second task is 2 October 2015 and it ends on 3rd October 2015 then for 3 it starts on 3rd October and ends on 4th October so what it means is that we can see that these three tasks task ID 1, 2 and 3 they are consecutive they are falling on consecutive dates so they are part of one project sorry so this 1, 2 and 3 these three are part of the same project which starts on 1st, 1st October 2015 and ends on 4th October 2015 now if we go ahead uh, task ID 4 starts on 13th October ends on 14th October 5th task id 5 starts on 14th october ends on 15th so these two are also consecutive so 4 and 5 are part of a single project which starts on 13th october and ends on 15th october 6 and 7 let's see uh, it starts on 28 uh, ends on 29 and it starts on 30 and ends on 31 so these are not consecutive because uh, six uh, task ID six starts on 28 October ends on 29, so it is part of a part of a separate project. And uh, uh, again on next date, that is 38 October, uh, the task ID seven starts and it ends on 31st, so it is also part of a separate separate project. You can see here that uh, since task ID seven starts on 38th. 30th and not on 29th so that is why it is these 6 and 7 will not be considered concert consecutive so task 6 and 7 for, uh, are part of different projects so let's see the output basically we have to list out the different uh, all the projects um, which which for which the start date and end date is given in this table so uh, we'll start with this 2015 1 and it will go up to 2015 10 4 so yeah this is that one project 2000 it starts on 1st october 2015 and ends on 4th october 2015 the second task is yeah it starts on 13th of october 2015 and ends on 15th of october 2015 this one third is it starts on 28 october 2015 and ends on 29 october 2015 and the last one is it starts on 30th october 2015 and ends on 31st october so let's see how the output has to be arranged so we have to uh, we have to query the uh, out query we write a query to output the start and end dates of projects so start date is equal to 
so not circle to so uh, the output columns are start date and end date and uh, what should be the order if there are more than uh, and the number of days it took to complete the project in ascending order so the number of days it took to complete the project so basically what that is end date end date minus start date so this is the ac ascending and if there is more than one project that have same number of companies then order by start date okay start date yeah so we have to order by the number of days it took to complete a project so that will be equal to end date minus start date and then you have to order by start date so let's let's see how can we find the start date and end date of a project so here what what we see is that the start date of a project uh, it, it is not an end date of any other task for example the start date of this project is 1st October so we can see that it is not the end date of any other task similarly it is true for uh, 13th October 2015 it is also start date of a project this project it is not an end date in any of the tasks the same is true for all these starting date of all the projects but if you see uh, for other start dates for example 2015 10 2 that is 2nd october 2015 so this is an end date of task 1 so that is why we cannot consider it as a starting date of a project so basically when, uh, when uh, the starting date of a project um, should not be an end date of any other task if it is an end date of any other task it means that it is not the starting date it is a consecutive date right so that is what uh, uh, we understand from this logic that if we have to find the start date of a project we can use this query um, select start date from projects where where start date not in select end date from projects So this is how we'll get the start dates. So we'll just run this code and see whether we are getting the correct output or not. Yeah. 2015, 10, 1. Actually, this is a different test case. Uh, so. But yeah, here we can see that we are getting different dates. And let's assume that this, this is true. Since we cannot see the... Uh, input for sample test case 0 we cannot verify if the start dates which we are printing here is correct or not but just for a moment we'll consider that okay this logic is true so this is how we'll get the start date now for getting the end date same thing we have to do for end date Okay, so now, now we'll put uh, these two in separate queries. So basically we'll create two CTs uh, that is common uh, table expression so that we, we have the start date and end dates with us. And later on we'll, tr we'll see how can we join these two values so that we get the start date and end date of each project along with the number of days it took to complete because we have to order the output on this value so with t1 as select start date from projects where start date not in select end date from projects okay t2 as this okay uh, now we have to join basically start date and end date so we have to see how can we join these two values 
so okay uh, what we can do here is um, what we can do here is we can have something called row number I'm just thinking out loud so if we have if we have something like row number to find the row of the corresponding start date and similarly we can have the row number for the end date then we have, will have the common column called row number to join right so row number over order by start date let's have the same thing for and let's name this column as r over order by end date row number over order by end date okay select start date t1 dot start date comma t2 dot end date from t1 join t2 on t1 dot r is equal to t2 dot r order by we have to order by end date minus start date ASC and start date end date is t2 dot end date minus t1 dot start date and t1 dot start date let's run it and see whether the output which we are getting is correct or not yeah so this is correct and let me just submit the code yeah so we have successfully passed the test case so now again just to explain what we are doing with this row number is so basically with the row number we get a, you can say it's a, it's a it's a unique ID of each row starting from one and it is ordered by the start date so so if, if we if I'll just explain how this query runs on this table this sub query with this first CTE query runs on this table so we'll get the uh, these start dates right 2015 28 30 13 and 1 right so uh, for this date 2015 10 1 so this, this is appearing uh, if, if we order by the start date here like these are the start dates right 28 October 30 October 13 October and 1st October so if we order by start dates then th the corresponding row number will be 1 for this date 1st October then 2 for 13th October 3 for 28th October and 4 for 30th October right because uh, that that's that's how the we do order by in uh, uh, in a table right so for 1 the row, the row number will be 1 for 13th October the row number will be 2 for 28th October the row number will be 3 and for 30 October the row number will be 4 similarly for this CT this common table expression if uh, if we just do a dry run then what we'll see is that these are the end dates that we'll be getting 29 October 31st October 15 October 4 October and if we order by end date then the corresponding row numbers will be uh, 1 for 4th October 15 uh, sorry 2 for 15th October 3 for 29 October and 4 for 20 uh, 31st October so we, we are uh, basically uh, uh, finding this value row number value so that we can join t1 and t2 common tables common table expressions on some column so this row number uh, basically helps us to join these two tables uh, so that we get the corresponding uh, correct start date and end date for a project otherwise we, we may end up joining uh, different or incorrect pair of start date and end date 
so that is the entire logic and just we are doing order by as give, uh, given in the question we have to order by uh, the number of dates uh, days it took to finish a project and the start date so thank you for watching this if you have any queries you can comment uh, in the comment section thank you